The purpose of this video is to provide a brief overview of the process by which Civil 3D users can create Civil 3D profiles. In this example, we will look at both how to create surface profiles and layout profiles. Layout profiles are sometimes referred to as design profiles. Now before we get started, one must understand that certain prerequisites need to be met before profiles can be created. For the examples we are doing, we will need both a Civil 3D surface model and a Civil 3D alignment. In this drawing, which we are currently viewing, we have both. In looking under Toolspace, under Prospector, for the drawing EG Topo, looking under Surfaces, we find that there is an existing Civil 3D surface model named EX Topo. Looking under Alignments, under Center Line Type Alignments, we find an existing alignment definition named Driveway. In our drawing, the EX Topo surface is the surface model currently shown by these contours. With respect to the driveway alignment, this is represented and designed by the series of lines and curves shown by this alignment definition. Now, getting back to the purpose of this video, the first example we will look at is how to create a profile of a surface profile. For this particular case, we do need an alignment and a surface model, which we have established do exist in this drawing. To create a surface profile of the EX Topo surface for the driveway alignment, users can go through the ribbon and looking under the Home Ribbon tab, under Create Design, and under Profile, Surface Profiles can be created via the Create Surface Profile command. Selecting this command, we are given the Create Profile from Surface dialog. In this dialog, users must specify a combination of an alignment and at least one surface with which this alignment can be profiled. Here I'm going to select the EX Topo surface and clicking on Add, the EX Topo surface is now appended to the profile list at the bottom. Here I note that the EX Topo surface will be profiled for the driveway alignment for its entire length from beginning to end. At this point, Selecting OK will complete the command and bring us back into the drawing environment. Alternatively, having specified a combination of an alignment and a surface, we can go directly to creating a profile view. This is done via the Draw and Profile button. In selecting this button, users will be guided through a Create Profile View wizard, which will help establish certain settings such as the profile view styles to use and the geometric limits of the profiles. In this first window, Users will have to specify the alignment to which this profile view will be associated with, a name has to be specified, and a profile view style has to be specified. The profile view style is important in that it is essentially what controls the profile grid object. What I am referring to as the profile grid object is technically known as the profile view. Here I am going to choose the profile view style known as Major Grids and HGP. HGP stands for Horizontal Geometry Points. Clicking Next, the next window will specify the station range for this profile. In choosing Automatic, the defaults are set for a profile which will span the full length of the alignment. Clicking Next, settings here are specified for the profile view height. Here, in setting the profile view height to Automatic, I am given a minimum and a maximum range of 104 feet to 152 feet in elevation approximately. This is based upon the Civil 3D surface object, EX Topo, which we have essentially sampled in combining it with the driveway alignment for the purpose of creating this profile. Choosing Next, here we essentially specify that the EX Topo surface profile will be created with this profile view we are creating. Choosing Next, users can opt to specify a band set as part of their profile view. Here, we will set this to EG, FG, Elevations and Stations. Again, clicking Next, we come to the last window in which Profile Hatch options can be applied if desired. Finally, selecting Create Profile View, Civil 3D will prompt the user to select a Profile View Origin. Here I'm simply going to pan to an area north of the Civil 3D surface model and choose an insertion point in this location. As I zoom extents, I now see my profile object. It is important to note that when dealing with profiles, there are actually several Civil 3D objects to consider. Again, as previously stated, the grid object is what is known as a profile view. Selecting this profile view, I can note the Civil 3D object context sensitive ribbon. Here it says profile view. Hitting escape to clear my grips and going back to the profile, when I select 
what appears to be the surface profile. I see this is known as a profile. So an actual profile, whether it is a surface or design profile, is given the term profile, whereas the grid is given the term profile view. This is further demonstrated when looking in the tool space under prospector under alignments. The driveway alignment we have is of a centerline type. Expanding its contents, we see profiles and profile views. Looking under profile views, we have a profile view named driveway 2. Looking under profiles, we find the EX topo surface profile. This essentially concludes the first part of our example of how to create profiles specifically dealing with surface profiles. For the next part of our example, we shall deal with how to create layout profiles or design profiles. For this particular case, we are going to use the existing profile view we already have and previously created for the surface profile. To create layout profiles, one can go through the Home ribbon tab under Create Design and under Profile, there is the Profile Creation Tools command. In running this command, first the user will be prompted for the profile view into which the layout profile will be created. Here I can simply select the profile view known as Driveway 2. Upon selecting the profile view, I am now prompted to name the layout profile. In this case, let's say that we are going to call this layout profile driveway CL for centerline, FG for finish grade. When creating layout profiles, a profile style can be applied. Here, we will apply the design profile style. As this layout profile is created, automatic labeling can also be applied via profile label sets. Here, the label set named Complete Label Set shall be applied. After choosing OK, note that the Profile Layout tools appear. This toolbar essentially contains commands which aid in the design of layout profiles. For a very simple demonstration of this, here I'm going to zoom in to the existing surface profile, and I'm going to assume that it is my intent to create a finish grade profile of tangents and vertical curves which will roughly follow the existing surface grades that we currently see given the horizontal alignment geometry that has been specified. In this case, I am initially going to lay in a series of tangents. I can do this specifically using the Draw Tangents option. Using this command is very much like a simple line drafting command in that I can come into my profile, simply snap to profile objects, and establish some preliminary tangent grades. Here I've laid in three tangents. Hitting enter, a profile layout has now been defined and I see that it is already labeled given the label set specifications that I specified. To verify further what has happened in this drawing, looking under toolspace and under alignments, under profiles, in addition to the EX Topo surface profile that we initially created, we now have the driveway centerline finish grade profile, which is the design or layout profile. As I mentioned, having established some tangents, I can now come in and create some vertical curves as needed. To create vertical curves, under the profile layout tools, there is the create curves button, under which I find I can create curves by various options. Since in this case I already have vertical tangents laid out, I'm going to use the free vertical curve option. The free vertical curve option allows me to select an incoming and outgoing tangent and then specify various curve parameters which will control the geometry of the resultant curve which will be created between these two tangents. Looking at the command line, I can either specify a curve length, a radius, or a k-value. Here I'm going to specify a curve length of 200 feet. After hitting enter, and enter again to finish out of the command, I now find the application of a 200 foot vertical curve between the two vertical tangents I had initially placed. Here this vertical curve has been automatically labeled with a vertical curve label. In addition to the various drafting based commands to lay out vertical tangents and vertical curves which are found here in the profile layout tools, there is also a spreadsheet based interface which can be used to specify numeric data to constrain the geometry of layout profiles. 
This interface can be accessed via this button, known as the Profile Grid View. Selecting this button will launch the Panorama View with the view tailored towards profile entities. Here is the spreadsheet type interface in which I can see the various geometries which comprise the layout profile I have created. Again, this interface can be used to specify numeric geometry information. Double clicking in fields allows me to change stations, PVI elevations, grade in and out, and even profile curve lengths. For example, if I want to change my 200 foot vertical curve to 250 feet, I can simply type it here, hit return, and in closing the panorama window and reviewing the graphical representation of my layout profile, here I find the length of the vertical curve has in fact been changed to 250 feet. Given the dynamic nature of civil 3D objects, users have the advantage of the ability of modifying the horizontal alignment. Here we now conclude our second example in which we have created a civil 3D profile which is a design or layout profile. Before we conclude this video on profiles, one other thing to note, which is of useful information to Civil 3D users, is to understand certain settings for profiles which are constrained by the profile view style. Again, the profile view is essentially the grid object of your Civil 3D profiles. In selecting the profile, users can access the profile view style by clicking the right mouse button and choosing Edit Profile View Style. As you may recall, in the process of creating this profile, we chose the profile view style named Major Grids and HGP. As part of all profile view styles, graph settings control the vertical exaggeration of profile view objects. In this case, we are in a drawing which has a specified horizontal scale of 1 inch equals 30 feet. Given that the vertical exaggeration is set to a factor of 10, that would mean a vertical scale of 3 feet. Hence, our horizontal and vertical scales are respectively 30 and 3. Should users desire to create profiles which have no vertical exaggeration, in other words, their horizontal scale would be 30 feet and their vertical scale would be 30 feet also, the vertical exaggeration for the profile view style in use would have to be set to 1. Another useful setting to be aware of which is set by the profile view style is the profile view direction. Hence, if we had desired to create this profile in the right to left direction, we would have had to choose a profile view style correspondingly had a setting for profile view direction set to right to left. With this in mind, I'm simply going to hit cancel. I will not revise this style. Again, in this exercise, we created a civil 3D surface profile with a combination of a horizontal alignment and a civil 3D surface. And we created a civil 3D layout profile mimicking a finished grade design as it would pertain to the horizontal alignment and the surface model it runs through. Thank you.